part two and the first part I made the FTP server which is right here using pi ftpd lib and I'm not gonna need this anymore so now we're actually gonna make the client now the client is what the user is actually going to use to work with the server so if you have FileZilla that's used to do FTP FileZilla is the client but there is a FileZilla server but the uh, FileZilla client is actually what allows you to upload, download, and edit files and stuff like that. Out of the client we're just going to make a really simple client we're not going to be building any upload or anything we're not going to be doing any uploading we're just simply going to connect to the host and we're going to do the login and then we're going to list the directories. First, we'll start with FTP lib, which is standard in Python. It comes with the uh, compiler or interpreter. Host is going to be localhost or port. It's going to be 880 because that's what our server is going to run on right here. So, this is the port we want to run to. And FTP, this is going to be actually uh, setting up the FTP connection, but we're going to keep it basic right there. Now the actual connection is going to be host port, which means FTP.connects, whenever it connects, it's going to use these two variables up here. FTP.login. FTP R E T R I N lines FTP dot quit. <clears throat> All right. Once again, a uh, rather simple program. Um, we have two variables, which is going to be host and port. Host equals local host. Port equals eighty eighty eight thousand eighty. Um, FTP equals FTP lib dot FTP with uh, parentheses and the connection is going to connect to localhost on port 880. Login is just simply going to log in the user, which we're not really going to fool around with right now. What this means is it's basically just going to list the directory in a way. It's just going to read the lines. And then FTP.quit is going to quit the connection. So let's save this. FTP client uh, Python all right first thing we need to do we're going to need two terminals to do this we're going to need to start our server oh okay gotcha Forgot. server.py so we have the server started new window just directory to desk can't spell today it's probably because I was looking up lol python alright python ftp client.py instance connection oh my bad. It's not connection, it's connect. I'm having a little bit of issues right here. Same command. Shows right here it connected, but the command lines is not. Oh, I feel really, really stupid right now. It's list. Pull that up. All right, here we go. Over here, it tells us uh, we've connected on user anonymous. Username, password's okay. Login successful. Type to ASCII, and we're listing everything. 125 data connection rate open. Transfer starting. Transfer complete. Quit. Goodbye. And what this did over here on the client side is it basically opened up the connection and it read everything in the directory of users Todd Martin desktop server. 
just a basic client and uh, server. And uh, in the next tutorial, I'll be going a little bit more in depth with uh, combining the HTTP and the FTP, so that way you can run it all in one script.